Hey there to all my listeners tuning in out there. Welcome to Fractured Poet, a podcast for all of you poetically insane individuals who love getting lost in the art of poetry. Podcasting from Ontario, California, I am your host, Katrina Wisniewski, just another person in the world obsessed with words, striving to make sense of it all. So during today's episode, I will be reciting poems that make sense according to the topic of today's show or the title of today's show. For some reason, the title making sense seems to fit well with the poems I will be sharing, or maybe the poems I'm about to read will absolutely make no sense at all. I don't know, but it's interesting that I would choose a title like this because after going through most of the shows I have already done, I always find a way to use the phrase make sense a lot. But maybe it's just me questioning myself or hoping that you, the audience, get where I'm coming from. All right, so anyway, moving on from that, the first poem I will read for you today is called Inside Out. Frustration, irritation, Tired of the back and forth, tired of the constant bickering, bothered, pressured, this is something I cannot take, thinking gives me headaches, worrying makes me nervous, persuasions or decisions, what will it be, not sure how much longer, holding out as long as I can, overwhelmed, unsure, gripping on to something that isn't there, and I don't even know if I care. So I happened to kind of do a little digging on this poem. I was looking at the Word document that this poem was typed on. I went into the Properties tab on the Word document, and I believe I started this poem back in 2010. However, I either made edits to it or finished the poem in 2015 because it has two different years on it. In either case, I wrote this poem a long time ago. There was a lot of pondering emotions that helped to create this poem. This could be referring to so many different things, but not sure which one it most pertains to. Regardless of the situation, assuming this was referring to myself, Whatever I was thinking about, I must have been over the top done with it all. Almost like at the end of my rope. And as far as tying this poem into the title or theme of this episode, I guess it makes sense. See, and I use makes sense again. Because of this is still relevant Or maybe it could be the fact that I decided to read this poem out loud for the first time in a long time, and it finally makes sense to me. Who knows? The next poem I will read for you is called Memories. Sparing the time, I listen to his words, a mesmerizing lesson I will be forced to learn. To ponder the ways of misfortune, he sits back and grows proud, lining up his points, allowing me to think. My thoughts begin to churn, an image exposed. Oblivious, I hold my breath tight. Criticizing more than usual, standing against all that is familiar. The words I speak, they have no meaning. I am blinded by the headlights. Sophisticated by all he sees, one would think him peculiar. I question his theories, somewhat baffled. It's round and round I go. Hypocritical in ways unknown, he drains the color from my eyes. Our voices clash with angry tones. The war begins with just one stone. He predicts the actions, but only time will tell. Let's go back counterclockwise. It's a battle never won, a battle between fact or fiction. After reading this poem, I can't help but wonder why I titled this poem Memories. 
This has nothing to do with me or anything I have ever experienced, so it can't be referring to my memories. But then again, not every poem has to be about me or is about me at all. This poem could have just been one of many poems that, like I have explained so many times before, came out of nowhere. I could have been watching a movie or a music video that had something to do with what the poem is talking about. Maybe it was none of the above. I do, however, like this poem. I like the way it's worded and the emotion being pulled from it. And going back on how it fits with the theme of this episode, maybe reading this poem helped me understand something that I didn't understand before. It could have triggered a memory that I completely forgot about until now. I can't really say. Honestly, I don't remember when I wrote this poem. My guess is around mid-2000s, but I can't help but think about how relevant this poem is today. Well, at least relevant at the time when I started writing out this episode back in October of 2020. People have turned against each other in ways I have never really experienced before. If someone voices their opinion, it's usually not the same opinion as the opposing party, in which case one party or both begin to criticize the other, which then comes the threaten to be rid of them because of their views or more than likely leading to slanderous words being thrown out here or there. This poem, sadly, kind of describes those moments in a nutshell. It's almost as if having your own opinion automatically puts you in the black book. You no longer matter unless you have the same views and opinions as I do. Yet, weren't we brought up and taught to have our own opinion? To never be forced into or be bullied to carry someone else's opinion if it's not what we believe in? The whole, if your friends jumped off of a bridge, would you type of scenario? You can listen to someone talk for hours on any given topic, never uttering a word. However, once you open your mouth and speak one word opposite of theirs, all hell breaks loose and suddenly you have no sense. I don't know, maybe I am just talking out of my ass, but this is how I have felt since the start of 2020's fuckery. I could be reading too much into it, and then again, this could intertwine with the entire theme to this episode. Making sense. But moving on to the next poem, this one does not have a title. Her mind is a mystery. Emotions building inside, much too difficult to control. Her tears reveal disappointment, exposing the hatred flustering within losing those close to her. Blunt and revengeful, a story with no happy ending. Speaking inappropriately, verbalizing only the truth, refusing to apologize. Oftentimes defending herself, some do not approve. Criticized, belittled, taunted. Her blood begins to boil, Her hands tremble, standing her ground. Silence is no longer an option as the anger rises, forcing out a vengeful scream, almost becoming fearless and unaware of what will come next. I wrote this poem back in March of 2014. This poem has a lot of emotion attached to every single word that I read. I know this poem is referring to something that personally took place in my life, but I can't remember exactly which moment. There was a lot. But if it is what I think it is, it was something that has taken a long time to sort through and finally be rid of whoever or whatever caused these emotions. There are too many people out there who enjoy running off their mouth especially the ones who know that every word they speak is inaccurate and smothered in bullshit. And there comes a time when the person being dealt those words will one day fight back and give that individual a new a-hole. 
or just simply write you off as invalid and live life believing you don't exist, removing the toxic, if you will. Or maybe that is not what this poem is describing at all. As I said, I don't remember what my current thoughts were while writing this poem. I mean, obviously the poem expresses what I was thinking, but I guess what I should have said was I don't recall the situation I was describing. The emotions are pretty much clear as day, but what I was referring to, I couldn't say. How this poem fits with a theme, again, not sure. Maybe if I read this poem enough times, it might jog my memory and force me to remember what I was talking about. All right, so the next poem I am going to read does not have a title, again, so here it goes. It's funny how quickly people can drift away to act as though they did not exist and erase themselves completely. The memories that are kept, the moments that were shared, does it matter? It hurts to say that I hardly know you, or perhaps I never knew you at all. Was it all just a waste of time? I wrote this one back in early 2017. I think this poem describes a definitive moment in my life when I began to question some of the people that were lingering in my life. I started questioning whether or not these people were worth having around, especially after they decided to completely distance themselves. It's interesting to watch how fast someone can drift out of your life with no reason attached, just simply disappearing. Although it's sad while watching this take place, you can't help but reminisce and relive the memories, wondering if any of it was worth making or cherishing. Being around this person or people for as long as you were, suddenly questioning if you knew them at all, developing a persona you do not recognize, questioning whether you did something wrong. In the end, wondering if knowing that person was a waste of time. I can place this poem into various moments in my life. It even holds some relevance in the present time. Another poem that strikes some sense in this poetically insane brain of mine. All right, so again, moving on to the next poem. This one is pretty short, and like so many of my other poems, I apologize, this one does not have a title. I don't expect you to understand. You can't even see past your own selfish existence. Somehow, I've managed to make it this far without you. So why can't you just leave me alone? Your guess is as good as mine when it comes to figuring out what in the bloody hell I meant when writing out this poem. Another poem that can go so many different ways, so many different directions. I couldn't tell you what I was thinking about when I wrote this poem. It could have been some passing thought that meant nothing or a phrase or a word that popped up and this was the result. For all I know, it ties to me some way or another. I honestly don't even know if I like the way this poem is worded, but eh, whatever. Well, I will get to the next poem, which is the last one for today's episode. This poem is called Truth. Someone once asked me to define honesty, to recite an authentic explanation as if I were a human dictionary. Being puzzled with amazement, hemming and hawing over which words to use, desperately searching for truth's purity. To provide a genuine definition and remain candor is a reality most are not prepared to face. Delivering a task of this nature is somewhat challenging, a matter of fact or fiction. How does one interpret words of such certainty? I wrote this poem in October of 2020. 
This one actually came out of that poem book I had mentioned a couple times throughout this podcast, the Write a Poem book, the book with a bunch of poetry prompts. Now, this poem I can say was a roll of the dice. I ended up staring at my laptop screen for a while before I actually started typing words out. I didn't know which angle I wanted to go in with this poem. Truth is a very interesting topic to write a poem on because not everyone knows how to tell the truth, or as some say, they recite versions of the truth. I chose to include this poem in today's episode because this poem does put the theme of this episode in perspective. It kind of puts you in your place and forces you to really understand the meaning behind the word truth, forcing you to make sense of things. If you have ever asked someone to define the word truth, it could be possible that people wouldn't know exactly how to define it. Some may recite the dictionary's version of truth, and for all you know, you will never get a genuine definition. Everyone could have their own definition of truth. Truth can often get misplaced and misinterpreted. And it is that much easier for someone to reconstruct the truth. People live their lives based on lies to a point where it eventually becomes truth to them. I would be curious to see how someone would react if I randomly asked them to define truth. What would their response be? Would they define it based on the dictionary's definition? Would they be creative and come up with clever yet accurate and valid description of truth. But here's a question for all of you listening. What does the word truth mean to you? How would you personally define truth? Food for thought. All right, kids. Ending on that note, that will conclude today's episode. To those of you who are always tuning in, I seriously cannot thank you guys enough for hanging out with me. You are much appreciated and I am forever grateful for lending your ears. And to those who are just joining in, I hope you liked what you heard and tune in next time. You can catch this and future episodes at anchor.fm forward slash Fractured Poet. This episode of Fractured Poet was written and produced by me, Katrina Wisniewski. Music by Alternative Rock Volume 1 and Rock Electronica Volume 4 from freeplaymusic.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at Fractured Poet. And as always, thanks for listening and until next time.